LEDs are everywhere. LEDs are on advertisement. LEDs are on our phones. LEDs are on our tablets. LEDs in my brains and in my stomach. Mm. But have you ever wondered how was LED made? How could they make the LED strips light on and become so colorful? How was it controlled? To begin answering that question, we start with a strip of 5 LEDs. But starting with 5 LEDs is just 5 LEDs. We didn't know how to make it run and to make them light on different colors. So we try to understand using experiments how the LEDs can be controlled. According to the professor's dream, there are a total of 15 spikes in the LED strips. The lights will turn from red to green and then blue, and then from left to right. All in all, there are only 3 LEDs that can light at any given moment. Since we have 15 states, we can give 4 bits to represent each and every state. And therefore, we have the following truth table. But how do we translate the state to the next state and give it, put it in a loop? On the left hand side, we have the current state of the machine. On the right hand side, we have the next state that will become the next state of the machine from the previous state on the left hand. And at the 15th state, the machine will loop back to the first state, thus creating a perfect loop. How can you set the previous set to move to the next set? Hmm. We can use the master slave flip flop. Mm. Mm. Action. Because one master slave flip flop can only save one bit of memory, and we need four bits to save the state, so we will need to use four master slave flip flops to save the information. So for every LEDs, we have four states. They are coded by two bits, which is A and B. For all states, A and B will be zero and zero. Red is zero and one. Green is one zero, and blue is zero one one. And then we can move it to the three inputs for the each LED. For off, everything will be zero. And then for red, the red will get one and the other will get zero. And similar for the green and blue. Therefore, we only need two bits of input for every LED. And that can be visualized by this circuit. As you can see, we only need X and Y as an input. And using the truth table and three AND gates, we can move it to 3 bits of output for each LED, red, green and blue. For example, for the first state, 0001, the first 3 LEDs will be red, and the last 2 will be off. So we have the corresponding code for the first 3 LEDs is 0, 1. And the last 2 is 0 and 0. And so we can apply the same principle for the other states. And there we have it, 
a way to translate from the state to the lighting conditions of every five LEDs. So we have it, the first logic circuit to read from the memory and manipulate the state of the machine. And then we have the logic circuit to translate from the state to the signal for the LEDs. And lastly, we have the circuit to translate from the 2-bit input to 3-bit output, red, green, and blue, for each LED. And combine all those, we have it. The main and the only circuit to have the 5 LEDs. And now it's time to solve it. We're gonna this in the air. We're gonna you. years later How long have you been here man? How long have you been here man? Too much, too much man, it's just too much We have to ask Hei Kim for this We cannot do this anymore <laughs> Fucking hard.